Did you know you can use standard deviation to win football trades? Well watch to the end of this video and we will show you how. Don't worry, you don't need to be a maths expert to work this out as we will tell you how to do it. In short, standard deviation will tell us how likely a scoreline is based on how the team normally performs home or away. Here is the formula for standard deviation. Yeah, don't worry, I don't understand it either. I have more chances of deciphering Egyptian hieroglyphs, but I will show you how it works. We will be looking at the Rail Oviedo vs Tenerife match, which if you're watching this video as it's released, has not been played yet. So how can you use this, on this, to make this? We will start with Rail Oviedo, as they are at home. Oviedo have scored a total of 9 goals at home over 15 games this season, giving them the average of 0.6 goals per game. Now to get the standard deviation, we need to know the difference between total goals scored in each home game against the average goal scored at home. Let's click on the results for Oviedo and take a look. I have already entered the calculations, but don't worry, I will explain them to you. Looking at the first game, Oviedo lost to FC Andorra 1-0. This means they performed 0.6 under the average in that game for home goals. We can see this by looking in G2. It shows us the difference for each result and the average. So when they don't score, there is a difference of minus 0.40. Each of these differences then need to be multiplied to the power of 2. In the case of 0.6, this is now 0.36. And minus 0.40 is now 0.16. We then add all these together to get 3.60. Then divide this by games played to get 0.24 and then we find the square root of that number which is 0.49. Now what does this tell us? Will Real Oviedo score on average 0.6 goals at home and this has a deviation of 0.49. So this tells us the most goals likely to be scored are 1.09 as average goals 0.6 plus a deviation of 0.49 equals 1.09. The lowest amount of goals to be scored are 0.6 the average minus 0.49 the deviation equals 0.11. This standard deviation tells us the most likely scores for the home team are 0 or 1. Let's look at Tenerife. Total goals scored away is 12 and this is across 15 games giving us an average of 0.8. Again, we look at the difference between the average and the actual on each result. When they score one goal, there is a difference of minus 0.2. When they score no goals, there is a difference of 0.8. And when they score two goals, there is a difference of minus 1.20. Again, we multiply each difference to the power of two and add them all up, which gives us a total of 6.4. We again divide that by games played which is 0.42667, which we find the square root of this number, which is 0.65. So on average, Tenerife scores 0.8 goals a game, with a standard deviation of 0.65. So this tells us the most goals likely to be scored are 1.45, as the average goals 0.8 plus the deviation of 0.65 equals 1.45. The lowest amount of goals to be scored 0.8 which is the average minus the deviation of 0.65 equals 0.15. This standard deviation tells us the most likely scores for the home team are 0, 1 or a chance of being 2. How would we use this data? Well you could dutch the correct scores on this game. To do that we would need to cover the 0-0, the 0-1, the 0-2, 1-0, 1-1 or 1-2. The best games to predict or dutch are the games with the lowest standard deviation. We are looking for the number to be as small as possible with the perfect number being 0, 0.00. Remember you need to make sure that 8 games have been played in the season because if you use the deviation on less than 8 games you won't have enough data in relation to current form to make an informed decision. So why not try this out for yourself? Use the standard deviation to see if you too can predict the score lines of football matches and in turn make more profitable trades. If you would like to know more about this then why not join our free TTM Discord server 
a one-stop shop for everything sports trading related. The link is in the description. See you there. I've been James. This is Trading the Market's Correct Score Secret. And until next time, happy trading.